أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم طاف قلبي من الشرك والنور الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر الله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر لله الحمد الله أكبر كبير والحمد لله كثير وسبحان الله العظيم وبحمد الكريم كذا واصيل لا إله إلا الله ولا نعبد إلا إياه خلصين له الدين ولا كريه الكافر لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعد ونصر عبد عز جل وعلا لا شيء قبل ولا شيء بعد لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر إلا الحمد اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وسلم صلاة تنجي نبيا المسلم جميعا أهوال ورافة تغذي لنا في جميع الحاجات طهنا من جميع السيرات تنفعنا بعد الدولة تلونا بها صلى الله عليه وسلم جميع الخيرات والحياة بعد الدولة صلى الله على سيدنا محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العظيم هذا ذي وحدة الاستعجاء عمر الدرس لأن شاء الله ذو الحق يا سيدنا يا أبدا نعمل وربنا إن الله إلا الله وإن الله إلا الله وإن الله إلا الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Oh beloved Mawiz of Mawlana Shaykh Nazim Qaddas Allah Sayyidu of Grand Shaykh of all Grand Shaykh of Sayyidina Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and Sayyidina Ali and the Awliya of Allah and the Baytina and the Sahaba and the Rasulullah and beloved spiritual lovers to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said oh my Sahaba, O oh Sayyidina Umar, I like with these physical eyes to see this, the end of my nation. Was addressing us to the Sahaba, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I love, not only I like, but I love to see them by my physical eyes, not only by the spiritual eyes, by my reality, spiritually I'm seeing them. But I want to see them as I am seeing you, a Sahaba, by my eyes, because I love them so much. Even how much they are far away and committed sins and badness, but whenever I mention my name, they love me. And they, without seeing me, they love me without even uh, hearing anything from me. They love me only by the mean that coming from their heart without feeling from Allah Almighty to love Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, to love Rasulullah. Even non-believer, even godless, even Buddhist, even Jews, even uh, Christian, if they hear the muazzin, the adhan, saying, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah, they will be attractive to my name. And they are not believing in me, but they will be relaxing one hearing. While my nation at that time, the Mormons, the Muslims, at that time, the end of my nation, even so following the non-believer, and doing all bad of mistakes and uh, sins, whenever they hear my name, they give salat wa salam on me. Without feeling, they feel loving to me. As uh, the baby, without his feeling, uh, always so attracted and connected and loving his mother, even she will sometimes beat him. Sometimes she will uh, scold him. Even a baby, if he uh, wasting too much in his diaper or like this, or crying, he wants to suck milk, she will, with love, carrying him because he is with love also sucking the milk. And with love, she is cleaning him and washing him. 
and also he is giving her, her the same love. And this, how much they are committing sins. I am cleaning their diapers, their waist, and I love them because without feeling they love me and they feel that as if they are uh, as the baby from his mother, as if they are a part from the all, as if they are a beam of light from ocean of light of Muhammad and Rasulullah. They have this love to go back to that ocean without their feeling. And whenever they hear my name by the Mu'azzin or anyone, they give salat wa salam, and the most more believer, they even they will address me by their figures on their eyes that you are much more precious for us than uh, the pupil of our eyes and our eyes you are much more precious O oh, beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they didn't see me they didn't hear me they didn't see the revelation coming over me they are 1500 years far away from our time while you are my sahaba my companion living day and night with me revelation coming and all you are seeing and you are making your must to please me and to approach to me, near me you are, by seeing me. While this, they make their best to please me and to approach and to be closed and to be meeting my uh, spirituality or my physical body, even by dream. If they saw me once in their life, they will be drunk from that dream, happy. And they didn't see me. How about if they saw me and live, I am living between them? like I am living with you. For this, I love to see them by these physical eyes. I am seeing my Sahaba. And then he told you, Omar, you are my Sahaba. Antum ashabi, walakin ummati akhir al-zama, hum ahbabi. You are my Sahabi, my companion, but the, the last of my nation, whom loving me without seeing me, they are my beloved to me. They whom I love. You are companion, but they are be the lovers to me. I love them, beloved to me. Like this Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa addressing, and for this Allah Almighty, patient, so patient, and ending his 99 name by a sabur patient, not to punish whatever we are doing, even one of our mistake and sins of disobeying Allah Almighty, use one of them, a whole nation for past prophets to be finished by Allah Almighty. Allah will send Jibreel to finish them and to be uh, no more even their bodies uh, appeared to be buried. Like dust they will be finished. For one sin, for example, as a gay people of Sayyidina Lut alayhi salam. For this, Sayyidina Jibreel, he came and take, by the order of Allah Almighty, all the city of Sayyidina Lut, after he saved, Allah saved him outside, he took it by his hand and ah, so high and dropped it down until it was totally uh, dust and it was like a big huge hole in the earth and now, and then water salty water coming from their wasteness and badness and it is known now that the dead ocean, the dead sea there was the city of them Qawm Hud only Qawm Shu'ayb, Qawm Salih one, one mistake from what now a day everyone of the Mu'mins, of the Muslims of the Ulama, they are committing in every day thousand different types of mistakes and disobeying and uh, badness which for one of them used to be a whole ummah to be finished even they are committing all this every 24 hours and Allah patient for the sake of Rasulullah because he loved this end of this nation that Allah not punishing them giving them a chance to repent to ask tawbah 
giving them a chance till Allah is going to send a huge caterpillar of revenge to make them to finish each other by each other, not from Allah Almighty or from, yani from not from having the punishment or from under their feet, but it will be from them to them. And this is what are waiting and for the appearance of Sahibu Zaman, Sayyidina Al-Mahdi alayhi salam. And Sahibu Zaman will not appear except after uh, a big slaughtering. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith that Sahibu Zaman and Sayyidina Isa will not descend until a big slaughtering, shedding blood, finishing humanity, and they will appear by the end of it to stop this shed of blood and these slaughtering. And then we mean only so few on all the earth, because the earth it will be also like an atomic bomb. And they say, sealed of Aulia Zanshi, Avonashi, Anazim, we have only now there was 101 sign between Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and between the time of appearance of his grandchildren, Sahabu Zaman and Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And now already 99 signs finished, completed, and the Zulum now reaching to the top until the top reaching these two signs which remain will be fulfilled the first sign for the appearance of Sahib Zaman and Sayyidina Isa uh, the Zulum to reach to its top level to the uh, head of the pyramid of the satanic kingdom which all people helping Satan to build it uh, the entrance of Russia, entrance of Russia, see, the Fawliyat is already written, cannot, anyone can change it. It is programmed by Allah Almighty. Entrance of Russia to Turkey. It was by war, but Aulia makes so much dua and so much praying to Allah Almighty that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was interfering and he by himself making dua to Allah Almighty because Turkey it is full all it is a Muslim country full with Muslims Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah Allah to make it easy not by war and by finishing them but to enter peacefully and so peacefully is going to enter over a night next morning you will everyone will be announced that Russia occupying all Turkey and is settling itself on Turkey and uh, then uh, Allah programmed when she said Al Mawlana you will count from that uh, morning from that day or night which will enter Turkey 90 days 90 days it will be this big Armagon and slaughtering and shedding of blood and it will be in a field Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa called Umuk and this field Umuk is between, is in the border of Turkey with Syria. And where now the, all they are crowded, all the uh, alliance, all Russians, Iron Alliance, American Alliance, all they are crowded, all troops crowded now there uh, to fight ISIS. But really Allah make without their feeling to crowd there because when Allah will say be, it will be, give the order, and all at a sudden you will see this sign fulfilled by Russia occupying peacefully and entering or Turkey and settling all her tanks, all her weapons inside Turkey, Turkey, especially near the border where there is all these bases of America and all these. And then 90 days exactly, of Aulia and Maulana say this war will be taking place this Armagon that in that field if a cow seven years old which means so huge even two tons, three tons the weight of it the blood will be like a flood taking, making it to be uh, floating and to be taken, cannot even uh, stand 
from the blood of human being which is going to be shedded in that wall there. And uh, it will be in three months, the first two months, two and a half months, they will not use except the ordinary weapons, but the last two weeks they will use all whatever they uh, invented from atomic, plastic, uh, all these ballistic missiles, atomic, hydrogen, bacterial, chemical, all the weapons will they invent. All these missiles will be thrown all over this globe, this earth, by America, Russia, and, and by all the countries whom they are supporting and they have these missiles and weapons. Two weeks, the humanity will be finished, even the earth will be splitting. It will be like an atomic bomb. And by the end of these two weeks, it will be 90 days exactly, Sahib zaman will be coming by one step uh, from the Qubba al-Su'ada with his minister to the Rawdat al-Sharifa, and he will addressing Salat wa Salam on Rasulullah and taking the permission from Rasulullah for appearance and then with one step he will be in Sham al-Sharif in the downtown where it is called the Marja near Umayya Mosque and he will uh, call the Takbir Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar like thunder it will be all over the universes every place in universes, heavenly also stations will hear the voice of Sayyid Sahib al-Zaman because Allah appearing him by the power of prophecy at that time by the mu'jizah, mu'jizat, not miracles, but mu'jizat, yani, khawarik uh, al-'adah, godly power, extraordinary power that the first time you say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, all secret from all the weapons and what it will affect it will be totally stopped even a knife cannot cut as one allah almighty ordering the knife of prophet ibrahim alayhi salam not to slaughter sayyidna ismail when he put him to slaughter him he was slaughtering him but allah ordering the knife don't slaughter how much he used to uh, push it falsely on the neck of sayyidna ismail not uh, uh, affecting at all or slaughtering uh, then he say perhaps the knife is not good then he uh, uh, till now the sign on the mountain of Mina uh, facing the place where they throw the stone there is a huge rock up on the mountain where Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam he tried his knife a little bit like this Allah giving it all the way now to work and this rock was two, uh, split it into two, until now the sign, white sign on this, uh, not a white sign painted, no, it is like a white sign where it is uh, split it into two, divided into two. Then he says the good, the knife is good, what is not? Then said the Jubil descending, you fulfill the order of Allah Almighty and you obey, Allah is sacrificing your son by a huge ship coming from Jannah. Uh, and he was slaughtering, thanking Allah Almighty, this Qurban, and it was for this till Yawm al Qiyamah, it is the day where we slaughter the Qurban in Eid al Adha. It is the order of Allah Almighty first, and Sayyidina Jibreel descend, uh, sending this sheep, a huge one, uh, huger than a camel, this uh, sheep was, sacrificing Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam because he was so young, yani 11 years or 10 years old, when his father was ordered by Allah Almighty to slaughter him, and he was telling his father when he told him, I want to slaughter you, uh, coming the order, he said, why you are, don't hesitate, fulfill the order of Allah Almighty quickly, my father. You will find me patient. I will say, la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyah, don't worry. Then Sayyidina Ibrahim was not able to put him facing the Qibla or to face his father, but he put down him uh, to be laying on his stomach down his face to the earth, uh, to the stone up in the mountain, uh, and he was trying to cut his neck from down because he was not able to see 
the face of his son when he is slaughtering. And even though when he was slaughtering, but the knife not slaughtering, smoke coming from the mouth of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, and the smell of the smoke, it was like a barbecue liver. Then Allah Almighty, what happened to you, Ibrahim? Sending with Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam. Why the smoke, why the smell of liver, barbecue liver? Why you are so uh, burning from inside for your son? You are well not burning from inside when you ask me to finish for you all my people, Namrud, and all the people whom they throw you in fire and you make a dua on them to finish. At that time you were happy. Now for one son, you are Allah teaching him. Even Sayyidina Ibrahim Khalil, Allah doesn't like any prophet to make any dua of punishment over his people, of his nation. And for this instant to ask me to punish them and to finish them, ask me to send hidayah and guidance and to convert them to uh, Islam and to follow you was better for you. For this I am teaching you Ibrahim by your son. Why for one son you are burning? Why for these millions of people following you at that time but they uh, worshipping statues, even your father with them and not accepting Allah Almighty, instead to ask Hidayah for them, guidance, you ask to be finished and also you were smiling, happy, laughing, making fun, joke from them. Look what Allah did for you because you don't follow me. I am now testing you with your son. For one son, all your liver, lungs, inside, barbecued, burning and smoke coming for one son and those people, children of Adam, your people whom, and they are my people whom I create by my hand and I honor them. You asked me to finish them and for your sake I finish them. You didn't say how about Allah Almighty is feeling when he's finishing these people and burning them and finishing them. You didn't say what Allah will be feeling. I am teaching you. If you ever, after this happening with his son, you make any dua on anyone to finish him and to punish him, I will kick you out of prophecy. The same for Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam when he make dua that Allah to finish all his people and Allah sending a flood finishing them, Allah make his son to be also finished. And then he was, oh Allah Almighty, you told me my family, my son will be protected. Why you make my son to be drowned with them? He said for one son, you are crying, and for all these people whom my servants and I honored them, created them, never one tear coming from you, only were, you were happy and thanking Allah Almighty that you are safe with this 70 moments believer with you. I make you to test, testing you to feel how much I was when I finished for you these people, what is my feeling about them. And like this Allah teaching between all the prophets, no one was uh, making Allah to be pleased. All the prophets and the 24,000 prophets and all of them, they make uh, uh, like this uh, prayers and dua on their people to be finished. Only beloved Muhammad sealed of Prophet Wasallam. He was saying, Oh Allah Almighty, Ummati, Ummati, Oh Allah Almighty, don't punish these non-believers and they were throwing arrows on Rasulullah, spears, throwing stones until his front four teeth was well, one stone coming and uh, come down and uh, going to shed blood, a drop of blood and Allah Almighty ordering Jibreel alayhi salam. Quickly, Jibreel go down to my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, and catch by your hand this drop of blood the blood not to drop on the earth. By almightiness, Allah swear. By almightiness, by Allah Almighty, I am swearing if one drop of my beloved Muhammad drop down on the earth forever, no plan to be 
grown, no food to be given, no rivers or water will, will be running, all will be dry, never heaven skies will rain water over people. Quickly. And Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, he said, never in my life I have an order so uh, quick uh, to uh, quickly to descend and to fulfill it that like that uh, order from Allah Almighty to beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam. Only Allah want to teach Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam teaching Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam what is beloved Muhammad Rasulullah from all other prophets whom he followed them, Sayyidina Jabir alayhi salam. And he saw Rasulullah standing facing the Kaaba Qubla and praying and all the stones coming, Arabs coming, stones coming, spears coming, not feeling with his forties dropping down, uh, not feeling that the blood is going also coming. Uh, and he was saying, Oh Allah Almighty, make me a mercy for them. For this they, what they are doing badly for me, this badly changed it to be goodness for them and to be rewarded by Hidayah and guidance, turn them from a godless one, non believer one, to be a good servant to you, to be dressed by Hidayah and to go by good end and to be Ahlul Jannah. And like this, all whom they were fighting Rasulullah in the battle of Uhud, all of them. They converted to Islam, especially the one who was finishing uh, more than 70 Sahaba uh, and finishing the army of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, leading the non-believer, the godless, was Sayyidina Khalid ibn al-Walid. And he was the first then to convert by the dua of Rasulullah to Islam and to be the sincere and most uh, lovers to Rasulullah and Rasulullah accepting him and he told them you use your sword against uh, Allah Almighty and his Rasul and the Muslims now you, I give you my sword to use it against whom they will not accept to say la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah and like this he appointed him to be the general he rewarded him even to be the general and commander for the, all the army of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the same happened in time of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq until the time of Sayyidina Umar when he was Khalifa, he was giving the uh, uh, commandership to another Sahaba uh, than Sayyidina Khalid. And Sayyidina Khalid said, I'm not fighting for Sayyidina Umar or for this or that. I obey, he is the Khalif now, but I am fighting for Allah Almighty, and I am only a soldier, common one of the Sahaba, seeking to please Allah Almighty, not to please this or that or Sayyidina Umar. And he was following, obeying. As nowadays we must follow and obey what Mawlana and Shaykh Nazim make a, a will that to follow his successor, his son, Shaykh Muhammad, uh, not to be proud not to obey but we must obey we are uh, seeking to please Allah Almighty and Rasulullah and Awliya Allah and Mawlana and so Mawlana appointing Shaykh Muhammad we must all be uh, respecting following obeying the will of Mawlana and to respect Shaykh Muhammad as we respect and love Mawlana and Shaykh Nazim and even Shaykh Muhammad appointing his brother Shaykh Muhammad to be helping him and we must respect the same and Mawlana also from himself, not from Shaykh Muhammad, it is from Mawlana also appointing for all women the maqam of Haji Anna to be addressed to Hajj Rukiya, his daughter. And she is acting like a, she is a big awliya also. And for this we must obey, not to make names for the Naqshbandi way, not to make uh, exits, not to make uh, uh, excuses that also we are khalif, we are deputies, we are like this. No, don't obey. Don't like Sayyidina Khalid ibn al Wali. When Sayyidina Umar he put him aside, resigning him, he said, Okay, I am fighting for Allah Almighty and I obey the khalif and I follow as a common soldier under the order of the new commander. Like this, the one must be. And for this, this Armagon, this big work 
at the first sign of it, the entrance of Russia, and now it's so near this. How might they, for example, this coup is uh, failed, alhamdulillah, and Allah giving uh, strength and power to the president, good Muslim, he's a Sunna wa Jama'a, and he loves Mawlana Sheikh Nazim too much, and all his party loves Mawlana too much. Even though, but there is going to come a time, and so near in front of us, because not forever all these armies, all this uh, army of the alliances of America and Russia to be forever crowded there in this field of Umuk where they are now. Uh, but it is for a limited time which ended by then a coup which to be for the a Russian and they will be asking Russia to support them and they will enter peacefully into Russia and will be occupying Russia. And just they occupy Russia, America will not be satisfied and she will announce uh, to the United Nations that now she must go out of Russia and like this. It will take around two weeks, uh, but there will be a small uh, yani fighting between all these, uh, but not a big fight. And Maulana say in this one or two weeks, remain the airplanes, the airports, and the uh, all transportation open, leave everything and shelter yourself either to Mecca or Medina or to the holy land of Sharm al-Sharif, there it is protected. Otherwise, everyone will get an arrow of punishment unless Allah Almighty protecting him and Mawlana Shaykh Nazim is saying, the one who wants to be protected and not able to shelter himself to one of these maqams, because now who can dare to enter to Sharm al-Sharif no one has closed all the borders. And Mecca, Medina, no, they will not give you a visa or a residence, permanent residence, so you cannot also. So Mawlana say, stay in your place, even you are in between, in the middle of the world, stay in your place, always be in, uh, uh, as facing the Qibla, on the prayer mat, uh, praying to Allah Almighty, and uh, morning, evening, say three shahada, for protection and 300 astaghfirullah. Allah will create from your breathing when you say astaghfirullah to malaika of protection from morning to evening, then evening say them again. You will have another two malaika for protection for morning and then recite seven times ayat al kursi morning, blow it on yourself. Seven times, Alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabbuka bi ashab al fil, lam yaj'al kaydahum fi tabdeel wa arsala alayhim taywan ababil. Seven times blow it, and evening the same, and teach it to all your wives, children, uh, husbands, uh, and to all grandchildren, everyone to do it, because you cannot do it on behalf of another, everyone to do it on himself, and Allah from his breathing, when he is doing it, Allah will create malaika of protection, and Malaika will be also created whom they will be supported by how the one diving will be supported by oxygen bottles. Like this, uh, there is special type of Malaika whom supporting these, whom they will be protected when they are saying 300 astaghfirullah with the shahada three times and raising seven times Allah al kursi seven times Alam Tawakai Fa'ala Rabbuka Ashab al Allah will send air from Jannah, uh, supported by this malaika, like this bottle of oxygen, and they will be breathing instead to breathe the wind, the atomic wind, which is going to come over, they will be then uh, breathing this air of Jannah and will be protected, this one, only this will be protected from all these billions of people. Every hundred, one, 99 die, one will survive. Sir Grand Shay say if from every uh, 191 survive and 99 die, I will be satisfied. Like this is going to be a big uh, Almagon, a big slaughtering. And even Sayyidina Mahaddin Ibn Arabi say from every seven, six will die, one will uh, live. Grand Shay say according uh, now the, what is written on Rahim Mahfuz, from every hundred, one will survive, who is protected, and uh, 99 will be died by this atomic wind 
is going to be spread all over the earth. And uh, the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Sahih al-Bukhari in the chapter Kitab al-Ilm, in the Kitab al-Ilm, Rasulullah saying, لا تقوم الساعة حتى تقتتل فئتان عظيمتان تكون بينهما ملحمة كبرى دعواهما واحد لا تقوم الساعة حتى تقتتل فئتان عظيمتان تكون بينهما ملحمة كبرى دعواهما واحد that number the uh, uh, the great signs of day of judgment, the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah to be occurring and appearing and it will be these signs of the Amamagun finishing humanity, the nation of Rasulullah because the age of it will come to be finished and uh, the sign of day of judgment, uh, the appearance of uh, Sayyidina al-Mahdi and the sending of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam after 90 days of this Amamagun and Rasulullah says is uh, never will be this uh, day of judgment occurring until a big Armagon, a big fighting between two power, which means the earth is going to be under two powers only, two huge, great power, and all the countries will be either under this one or that one, alliance to this or that, either for American or for Russia, and they will be meeting in the field of Umar, and they will be a huge uh, slaughtering, shedding of blood. And both of them, they have the same aim and goal, they say. They are fighting each other for the same goal. As now they are all saying, fighting to finish ISIS. Same goal, both of them. But really, they are fighting who will be controlling this well of oil and petrol and these rich countries of the Middle East area and Gulf area, which consider from the Middle East area to control it, to be under their hand, this treasure, this wealth. And like this, this is so near in front of us, and Mawlana say, and so it will be open one week or ten days or two weeks, mostly the one can uh, leave to a safe place and to store some food, some water, a generator for electricity, because after two weeks, no more anything you can find in the market, no more electricity, all the countries will be taking all whatever they have from this uh, stuff of food or uh, petrol to be used to their army to fight, no more to be given to the people, but the one who will store, before this will happen, then he will be safely, mostly go to riverside, to mountainside, riverside, don't remain in cities, uh, it will be the most uh, safe place. And Mawlana, for example, in our country, he appointed a place will be safe, uh, but we are so close to Sham al-Sharif, we will be in Sham for other appointed in the uh, country, this area, that area, as he appointed here, for example, Jandabai, a uh, good, safe place and full with river, and also to store and live in it, and during these three months, you will, and doing the Shahada and 300 Astaghfirullah, and reciting Ayat al Qur seven times, and Alam Tara seven times, morning, evening, and always not busy by following the news, but busy by praying and say, repenting to Allah Almighty, because Allah Almighty promising in the Holy Quran, I will never punish one uh, who repent, saying, Astaghfirullah, I will not punish your nation when you are in between them, and I never punish them after you pass away, if they keep saying, Astaghfirullah, and repenting to Allah Almighty. And like this, this one will be protected and all the other will be finished until Sayyidina al-Mahdi. First takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. All these weapons will stop like the knife of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Then second time you say Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Uh, the second takbir, uh, all over the world, everyone hearing and make niyyah intention to be sheltering himself 
to Mecca, Medina, or Shaum Sharif, and to be with Sahibu Zaman. Sayyidina al Mahdi alayhi salam, Allah appointing Malaika to bring them by one step, wherever you are, east, west, north, south, hearing, universes, mountain of Kafir, are there, they will bring you to be uh, with Sahibu Zaman, accompanying him, even you are far away because no more transportation. And then the third takbir, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, will uh, dress panic and scaring all the non-believers whom remain and all the Jews whom they are the main important factors for finishing the nation of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they will be hiding themselves in valleys, in caves, behind rocks, behind trees until the tree and the rock will say, come, O Muslim, there is a Jew behind me hiding, come and kill him. Either he will accept to enter to Islam and to be saved, or he will be killed. And then Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam, sahibu zaman will go with uh, 12,000 of descendants of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh, all of the same face, the same uh, knowledge of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh. They will be the escort, this uh, the real uh, warriors of Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam uh, through uh, horses, from Jannah coming to them and so from Allah Almighty descended by Malaika and by one step uh, uh, they from Sham seven steps they will be in uh, Turkey in Istanbul in Topkapi uh, there Sayyid al-Mahdi alayhi salam after the takbir will be going there and he will take all the amana, the trust of Rasulullah the jubba of Rasulullah and the, all the, uh, uh, call the bow and arrow of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa the stick of Rasulullah and the holy jubba of Rasulullah and the flag of Rasulullah. This flag of Rasulullah uh, in the time of the Ottoman, they folded it and kept it in a top copy as amana because this flag, whenever it is raised, then it is obligatory on every male or female mu'min believer to be in jihad fi sabirillah under that flag, which means there is a khalif for Muslims at that time. And when he will ride this flag, then all the Muslims will be following, all the believer mu'min following, and they will be gathering in Umayyah Mosque, where there the spirituality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is reality, and the reality is 124,000 prophets, Realities of Sahaba, Ahlul Bayt, of all Awliya and Ranshe, and all they will be attending in uh, Umayyah Mosque with all Awliya coming from mountain of Qaf, Budala, Nujaba, Nukaba, Awtad, Akhyar, and then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will open for them the holy secrets of the Holy Quran, and no more they will be re re reading letters but they will be entering into the oceans and the realities and the life of the Holy Quran of the Divine, the God, the knowledge of Allah Almighty and all they will be under the voice of Allah Almighty by the guidance of Rasulullah Sallallahu and Sahib Zaman and Sayyidina Isa Alayhi Salam they will be like the commander of the army which will be finishing all the army of the Dajjal at that time when he appeared after return Sayyidina al-Mahdi from Topkapi he will announce that now Allah open for uh, Dajjal to jinn to bring to unchain him and to bring him to the earth and to be going around now he's seen a mountain of Kaf to bring him here back and to be going around all over the earth to make a big fitna and to announce himself he is the God and all prophets used to say Allah to protect them from the fitna of Dajjal and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam day and night in every dua and teaching Sahaba and told them to teach all their children and their followers after the Sahaba and from the Tabi'een to Tabi'een teach them always to ask Allah Almighty in every prayer to protect them from the fitna of Dajjal and the dua was Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min fitna al-Masih al-Dajjal 
נורמן, נאוזו, פתנת, דדוני או פתנת, לא אחיו, פתנת אלקוב, פתנת מסיח את דג'ה. And like this, because it is a big fitna, whom Allah will not protecting him from this fitna, he will follow him and take him as a god, and he will be totally Jahannam people, hell people. Allah will dress him to be a kafir, and will be written in his forehead as a kafir, this one, and he will be following and taking him as a god. Until the descendant of Sayyidina Isa, after the opening of the Holy Secret of the Holy Quran, uh, and all gathering in the mosque for Fajr prayer, even the spirituality of Rasulullah, reality of Rasulullah, and all which we mentioned, all with the awliya and all living mu'mins and mu'minat, all the Muslims who sheltered themselves to Makkah, Medina, and to Sham al-Shari, they will be crowded in uh, Umayya Mosque, And even in Mecca, Medina, following them, were well, there the reality of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it was it will be time no more for physical bodies. It will be time for realities. Even the physical body, whom they are still alive, the Muslims and Muslims, they will be dressed by their realities to be all in the same level of the reality of Sahaba and Auliya and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because it is time of realities. And after opening the secret of the Holy Quran, uh, Sayyidina Isa will descend with 5,000 malaika on the white minaret east of uh, Umayyah Mosque. Uh, and uh, Sahib al-Zaman will be ordered by Rasulullah to be uh, conducting the prayer as Imam, performing the prayer of Fajr, Subh. And, uh, Once Sayyidina Isa descends, then he will be withdrawing to make Sayyidina Isa to be coming as Imam. And Sayyidina Isa told, no, it is for you, my brother, Sahib al-Zaman. Uh, it is for you because my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith and the reality of Rasulullah present at that time, he said, كَيْفَ حَالُكُمْ Also in Sahih al-Bukhari, this uh, حديث كيف حالكم إذا إذا نزل ابن مريم فيكم وإمامكم منكم How about you my nation when the son of Maryam will descend and but your imam who is the imam for all the Muslims at that time of the all my nation at that time is from you from the يعني أهل بيت النبي from the uh, Arabs from the descendant of Rasul he told them this is the hadith of Rasulullah and you are the Imam I am coming not as a prophet or power of prophecy but I am descending as a common one of the nation of my beloved Muhammad Rasulullah and Rasulullah will be pleased from him fulfilling the hadith of Rasulullah and he will pray behind Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam And then after he will announce that all to reach the place where the Dajjal and his army, and they go there and they finish the Dajjal and finish the army of Dajjal, either by killing them or by converting them to Islam. And at that time he will rule Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam 40 years and the earth will be full. It will be like paradise only rising all over the earth. Uh, and universe says, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah. And all of them, they will be seeing the Rawh al Mahfuz, they according to what written for every one of them, in which place to be, in which country to be, where to live, he will be there. And the Allah will order the jinn to build uh, houses like palaces for all whom they are uh, alive at that time, Mu'min, Mu'minat all the awliya at that time to build for them palaces and Sayyidina al-Mahdi will be engaging everyone with four wives because plenty of women remain but less men after the war and uh, then uh, these uh, palaces no more buildings no more towers nothing it will be all destroyed and then one night before the appearance of Sayyidina al-Mahdi Allah will send the jinn and the malaika and the rain and the flood to wash all this earth from all the ruins, the atomic uh, nuclear uh, wind and which dressed to the sand not to anymore give plant 
or uh, to be farmed or to be uh, giving any baraka or blessing or fruit or food and uh, they will wash it and throw it in the oceans and it will be totally clean but all it will be clean fields, gardens and it will be well planted by balaika and jinn in one night. Allah will give them power by the morning Sayyidina al-Mahdi appearing and takbir after Fajr prayer it will be all over and these palaces m will be built that from any one of the earth you can see the Kaaba facing the Kaaba, seeing the Kaaba it will be well appear no mountains to block it no hills to block it because all at that time even the houses will be built and the palaces will be only their height to the two thirds of the Kaaba. Allah didn't like anyone to build a house or a palace or any a palace or anything to be higher than the Kaaba. The Malaika is cursing all whom they go high buildings over Kaaba and towers over Kaaba, Allah cursing them in this life and in the other life. And Allah is going to diminish and finish all these towers and buildings and then the jinn and malaika will build all to be below the height of the Kaaba, at least to be uh, not uh, higher than two-thirds of the Kaaba or less, like this would be all over the earth, and everyone according how Allah programmed for him where to live, he will be given the keys of his house, the palace, and to enter with his wife to it and to live in it, and all of them, they will be then uh, every prayer uh, led by Sahib al-Zaman Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam for seven years then after him by Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam continuing the 40 years until the end of the 40 years by the holy secret of the holy Quran and by the azima of the sharia of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam and at that time and they will be all Jannah people the earth will be Jannah paradise and all will be dressed directly by Allah Almighty, the heart of Rabban, the voice from Allah Almighty will come all over them and they will be hearing the heart of Rabbani like thunder and they will do according what is ordered by Allah Almighty till the end of the 40 years of time of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Allah then will send a wind, a uh, wind but when coming all over, Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and all the mu'min and mu'minat whom smelling, all whom they are living at that time, smell this wind, they will die. And the malaika will make the funeral for them, pray on them and bury them. And then after this, directly after burying them, uh, Allah will open the uh, dam which uh, Sayyidina Zulqarnayn he built for Ya'juj Ma'juj and they will be ordered to come all over the earth to finish everything in the earth, trees, plants, oceans, rivers, animals. They will not leave anything until they start to eat each other. Allah will send the beast to tell that all of you are a kafir and uh, spirituality of one of these big Sahaba will be finishing this beast, Allah will make her to die after this uh, and then Allah will order the sun no more to rise from the east or to appear only for three continuous uh, uh, night and day, it will be for half an hour so shyful appearing from the west, from where the sun set for half, uh, for one bow or less and then dropping down again uh, on the horizon and for three uh, days and night and in these three days and night Allah closing the door of Tawbah of repenting them whom they are living they realize even Yajur Majur that they are careful and they must repent to Allah Almighty and to be uh, again in the way of Allah but the door is already closed then by the end of the three days Allah will order the angel Israfil alayhi salam to blow the horn and everyone from the sound of this horn will be shocked and no more life in him 
the angel of death will take the life of all the people. Then Allah will take the two axes of the earth from its place and will be the earth moving uh, with undisciplined. And no more rotating in its orbit, shaking, 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 earthquake, shaking, until no more mountains, no more hills, no more oceans, no more rivers, nothing. Even no more stones, it will be all sand, totally. And it is on this round earth, it will be all uh, uh, as if plain land of sand around, uh, around this globe of the earth, but all flat around the earth, uh, and around the round of the earth. And for 40 years, Allah will make the, then uh, he will announce and will say, talking to all these tyrants, pharaohs, whom they were ruling, whom they were so rich, whom they are making corruption, who make doing badly to people, to mankind, uh, to all the tyrants. Allah will call and will tell them, Limani al-Mulkulyam. As Allah will say, Limani al-Mulkulyam. To him, to whom the kingdom today but no one to reply or to answer Allah Almighty, finish all they are dead, nothing remains. Allah Almighty will answer himself by himself, Lillahi al-Wahid al Lillah for me, Allah Almighty al-Wahid, the only one, al qahar who is, uh, had the power to finish everything and make it finished. Then 40 years Allah will make rain rain to come over the earth and this rain will be over the earth by 70 yards until the earth will be obtaining this rains and this rain it not is not water but Allah will send rain like a rain but it is the sperm of uh, human being uh, which one uh, the one uh, make uh, he want to have babies this what coming from him to his wife and combining together, make this uh, baby to be formed. Like this, from this, Allah will send rain of sperm to be coming huge, 70 yards over the earth, which means, and the earth will be obtaining it to 70 yards under the earth, which means till 70 yards inside the earth, you can find a, a, a dust of one, uh, creation of Allah Almighty, human being, or uh, jinn, or uh, shaitan, or plants, or animals, uh, or, or birds, everything. And uh, on the heavenly stations, because also the heavens will be finished, and the throne will be finished, also for them also there is a kind of rain from which they are this element created from it, Allah will send until all also will be uh, obtaining in the heavens, Allah will recreate the heavens and the earth like this and will be entering, entering until all this creation will be lying down like a funeral, no soul. Then after 40 years like this and all completed under the earth and under the heavens, then in all universes, which mean and all heavens, and Allah Almighty then will create seven. We survive seven uh, from death. Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, Sayyidina Mikail, Sayyidina Israfil, Sayyidina Azrael, Ankar wa Nakir, the two malaika of questioning, and Sayyidina al Khadr alayhi salam. Because they used to be the ones following the children of Adam and carrying the trust of them, and they are the witnessing on them. They will be created and Allah created them and he will order them go and wake up my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because already Allah will be descend, descended his throne with uh, now this one is covered by four malaika. Allah will create another four malaika like them. It will be coming over the earth by eight malaika covering the throne of Allah Almighty in the holy land of Sham where it is all they will be crowded to come to the day of judgment to the court of Allah Almighty will be there and this mountain of Qasun facing now the uh, place 
well, this one will be descending. This old mountain will be the tent uh, of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, where he will be rising over it, his flag, Liwa Alhamd. And all they will be crowded, all the prophets, all Siddiqs, Shaheed, Mu'mins, Salihin, under the flag of Rasulullah, all the common people, common nation, believer, non-believer, all over the world, and everyone walking from his place uh, to reach to the Sham al-Sharif, to the throne of Allah Almighty for the questioning. And that day of Yawm al-Din, day of judgment, it is a 500 years considered from our, uh, how we calculate the time of this earth. This according to our time, 500 years this day, it will be long. And Allah Almighty, by the end of this, uh, of this day, he will open the court and he will be questioning everyone. And how this day will be finished, and that Allah will open the court, all the crowd of the day of judgment uh, after reaching to the Holy Land or the throne and Allah so angry from everyone and more and more getting angry from all from all even prophets shivering in the divine presence of Allah Almighty all the children of Adam all malaika all creation will go to Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam oh please Adam you are the father of all, go and ask Allah Almighty to mercy us and to open the court because the sun will be over the head and the moon and all, all under the sweating, no water to drink except the one whom Rasulullah gave them from his well to drink only for the VIP whom chosen one Rasulullah will give of his nation and the other so thirsty under the sweat of their bodies and they will be all crowded. They come to Adam to make uh, shafa for them in the divine presence of Allah Almighty. To finish this day, they say, we don't care, Jahannam or Jahannam, but let us finish from that day, that this court to be finished. And Sayyidina Adam he say, I am not the one created for this. I commit once in my life, I disobey Allah Almighty, and he kicked me out of Jannah throw me in this earth and this coming all over your head from this disobeying of Allah Almighty. Then they go to Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam and for this they are, uh, they said they are the five uh, key position rusul, ulil azmi min al rusul, because all prophets and all awliya, all sahaba, all children of Adam, they will go to these five prophets one by one. Then they go to Sayyidina Nuh alayhi salam, Prophet Nuh alayhi salam. They ask him, he say, I cannot because I uh, feel shy from Allah Almighty. I'm so ashamed from myself how to tell Allah Almighty, make shafa and open this court. And I was the one who asked him to uh, punish and finish my people. And were all dead by the flood. I feel, I am sorry, I cannot do it. I am not created for it. Then they go to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam, he is Khalilullah. They go and beg him to interfere and to ask Allah Almighty to open that court and to finish the questioning, the day of Yawm al-Qiyamah, day of judgment. And he say, I am so sorry. Once in my life I uh, commit, I lie. I have one, once I make a liar, I was lying on the uh, king of Egypt, the Pharaoh. I told them about my wife is not my wife, she, she is my sister, so that he will not finish me and kill me, because if I say my wife in his religion, Pharaoh, he will kill him to take the wife, sure, so beautiful and nice. Well, so he said, it is my sister. Then he kept him safe and he asked him, he want to marry his wife. And Sayyidina Ibrahim didn't refuse to take, but let us see, because he knows that Allah will protect them. Then all night was not able, this Firaun, this thing, to touch Sayyidina Sarah or to approach to her. He was as if uh, uh, Allah sending panic and making him to be trembling and shivering all night, not able to look or to dare to approach to her. 
to make uh, yeah, an engagement with her, marry her. Then next morning he say, your God is much more powerful than mine. Go to your brother, stay with him. And he sent for Sayyidina Ibrahim a wife, a maid to be a wife for him, Sayyidina Hajar, whom the first boy coming from Sayyidina Ibrahim to inherit his prophecy, Sayyidina Ismail alayhi salam, who was ordered to slaughter him. And then he say, I cannot because I lied once on Allah Almighty and I finished my people uh, and their tyrant Namrud by the dua. Also, I am ashamed for myself. I feel shy to interfere. Allah will tell me, now you want to make shafa'a for the people? Why you didn't do it for uh, your people in your time? Then I am not created for this. They go to whom? Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, the same. He say, I'm not created for this because once in my life, I killed one soldier of Pharaoh by only pushing him. Uh, but he was very powerful. This soldier has a heart attack and died from the hand of Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. And for this, he say, I have this sin, which I, even Allah forgive me, but I feel ashamed from myself, shy to interfere, and I have a blood in my neck. Then they go to whom? To Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. This is the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Look, subhanAllah, they say about Rasulullah, us directly Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty will be sitting, uh, uh, not sitting, how he, no one how Allah Almighty is, but throne and Allah Almighty available and all seeing and even though not going to Allah Almighty, are going from one prophet to another to ask him to interfere to them uh, as a wasila to make a connection to them for Allah Almighty to open the court. They all mushrik, these prophets and these people at that time of bid'ah, as the Wahhabi say, no mind people. Then they go to Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, he say, he say, I not create for this. I, I am ashamed from myself and I am very shy from Allah Almighty because my nation, my people, they took me as a son and a God beside Allah Almighty and they worship me instead to worship Allah Almighty. Then Allah Almighty will scold me, now you want to make us shafa'ah and uh, your people, instead to make them to be well guided, you make them to miss the way and to be worshipping you and your mother. And so he feels shy also. Then he told them, I advise all of you to go to see the Prophet beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whom never in his life uh, commit one mistake or sin was totally protected by Allah Almighty and from the eternal forever he is the sealed of prophets and he is the beloved to Allah Almighty and uh, for his uh, sake when Sayyidina Adam asked Allah to forgive him by the for the sake of beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam the most beloved creature to Allah Almighty Allah forgive him, go to him, perhaps he can do it. They go to Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all prophets with the five important prophets, Ulil Azam, and they go with all creation to Rasulullah, to his stand, and they will be begging Rasulullah, please, O oh, beloved Rasul, make uh, interfere, be a wasila for us connect us, go to Allah Almighty and ask him to open this court and to finish this day. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he say, Allah created me for this day. I am the Lord of children of Adam alayhi salam and don't thou. Children and all his descendants, all his children and all the creation under my flag in day of judgment today. And he will be uh, Proceeding, going to the divine, the presence of Allah Almighty, the throne, and he will be bowing, uh, making sujood between the hand of Allah Almighty, and Allah will be inspiring him by uh, glorific glorifying Allah Almighty, praising Allah Almighty, which never yet opened before. It is from the divinely godly 
uh, greatest name and divinely uh, divinely godly word of Allah Almighty which Allah Almighty praising himself by himself by it he will give it to his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa in this sujood and he will be praising Allah Almighty glorifying him and by this until Allah will leave him years and years more than a hundred years in sujood at that time until he will tell him now raise your head my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ask and what you ask I will fulfill he told him oh Allah Almighty I am begging I am asking from your kindness and your mercies and forgiveness to open this court this day to finish it and to open the court and to question all uh, the people uh, because no more they are tolerating uh, this day they are totally burned by the sun and by the waves of hell coming over them uh, from Jahannam waves will come touching them they are totally burned they are not tolerating and they are weak servant to you by as a mercy from you open that finish that day and open the court and then Allah Almighty will tell him come my beloved Muhammad and sit on this one and then Allah Almighty will order uh, that this day to be uh, finished and the court to be opened and Allah Almighty less than a second of our time will be questioning all oh, children of Adam not from our Adam but before our Adam 124,000 Adam with their children and our Adam with his children the last one and the all jinn shayateen Malaika, animals, but all creation will be questioned with less than a second by Allah Almighty and everyone will be given either by his right hand, his book and to be Jannah people or he will be given from his back by the left hand will be uh, brought by Malaika to his back of his uh, back and he will be given the, by the left hand the book and he will be uh, Ahlul Shimal uh, Jahannam hell people and then they Malaika will differentiate and cue them uh, Jahannam people uh, behind the Satan a beast and will be dropped uh, thrown in Jahannam and the Jannah people first Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam swearing by his almightiness that no one will enter Jannah uh, from children of Adam alayhi salam, the mu'mins and believers and the prophets and all the believers until the last disobedient of the nation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, will enter to Jannah with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, then start every prophet with his nation to enter to Jannah to paradises and like this it will be finished and Jannah people forever in Jannah and Jannah people and punishment forever in hell. May Allah forgive us, mercy us. Ila shaf in Nabi Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wa Alaihi Wasallam Adhat Yus Sayyidina Wa Sayyidina Wa Sayyidina Wa Sayyidina Wa Sayyidina Wa Sayyidina Wa I want to make another Sahaba Mawlana changing my tongue to this direction. Allah, 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 Aziz, Allah, 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 Kareem, Allah, 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 Subhan Allah, 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 And we are your weakest servant, O Allah Almighty, mercy us. Bless us, forgive us, we repent to you, Allah, but now we have nothing in our hand, or in your hand, Ya Allah. Forgive us, mercy us, we are asking only Afu, Ya Afu, Ya Afu, Ya Afu, and forgive us. Here, in grave, and hereafter, Ya Allah. And Shafa'a of Rasulullah, here, in grave, and hereafter, Ya Rasulullah. Ya Allah, Ya Allah. And we are seeing love of you, love of Rasulullah, Allah, Bayt al Nabi, Sahabat Rasulullah, Mawlana Shaykh, Venshi, all Awliya Allah, Venshi. And make us, Ya Rabb, 
Pai, o tu está em só a busão, tu viste em si, falou as almoitas, e me casa, tu be forgiven by you and by your soul, and to be a rua janela, alma do Rabi, alma do Fátima. Assalamu alaikum.